Hi, Martin from Printer Potty. Really quick video showing you how to reset the chip on a maintenance box if you're intending to change the pads or if by some chance you've installed an external tank and need to be able to reset the chip so that um, the printer will continue working. Now, as you can see at the moment, this maintenance box right now has uh, about two thirds capacity left. But obviously I'm gonna show you how this process works. So I'm going to reset it back to full again. First thing you obviously gotta do is remove the panel just here um, so that you can get to the maintenance box and pull it out. That's actually covered in a separate video which shows you how to replace the tank. But obviously all you're doing is accessing this little maintenance box here so that you can get to the chip just there and reset it. Now to reset it, you are going to have something like one of these. There are a couple of different designs. This one has a USB-C connection to provide power. We also have one which is battery operated. Um, either one seems to do the job. So to reset, you have the four contacts at the top of this chip and the three contacts at the bottom of the chip. And on the resetter, you have the four pins at the top of the resetter and three pins at the bottom here. Now, for obvious reasons, you want four to line up with four on the contacts and three pins to line up with three contacts on the chip. So what you do, line up the pins with the contacts on the chip and then press them together like so. And there you go. So once more, slightly different angle, four pins to four contacts and three pins to the three contacts, press them together and you'll get that green light to indicate it's reset. We're going to put it back into the printer and as you can now see the maintenance box is all greyed out on there and that indicates the maintenance box is empty as far as the chip's concerned. Whatever you do, if you've reset the chip, make sure you've replaced the pad material inside the maintenance box or you've fitted an external waste tank rather than building up in pads that won't be able to handle that amount of wasting. One last tip with regards to the indicator on the maintenance box. It's actually really easy to assume that gray means there's, that's the waste ink level in your printer, but a bar that is completely gray like that actually means that your waste tank or your maintenance box is empty. Um, whereas white is the amount of wasting that that box is now holding. Okay, so hopefully that helps with anybody else who's been as confused by this as I was initially. So there you go. That's how you reset the chip on a maintenance box. Hope it's been useful. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.